Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Eco Quest. Oh, I've got a sharp shell in my hand. Just so stab people. Welcome back to Let's Play Stab. I like the um, fish that are rock stars. Okay, so we got this one. This one's empty. We got that one. Epidermis's apartment light is out now that he has left for the council chambers. Okay, so that one's out, that one's out. Let's go back in here and see if that guy is gonna. Oh, well, what do you need now, Adam? Uh, let's talk to you. Why are you so blue, Gregarious? Well, I'm uh, holding my breath. Why on earth are you doing that? Uh, you see these bandages? I keep getting hit by the same dumb speedboat every time I go up to the surface to breathe. Dang propellers. I'm just not going up there no more. But you're a mammal. You have to go up to the to breathe real air or you'll suffocate. Nope, nope. I uh, don't care. I ain't going. That propeller's gotten the last piece of Gregarious. A manatee by Gib. How about if I go up with you? You can show me a boat while we're up there. Maybe I can do something about the propellers. Gee, Adam, do you do that? Oh, uh, what a pal. Follow me. Adam follows Gregarious as he leads his way up the city toward the ocean surface. I don't feel like we should have done this yet because I don't have anything to... A load of garbage appears from somewhere above. Oh man, come on. Ouch. Sandwich? Why would you throw a sandwich in the ocean? At least the fish could eat that. Ooh. Ooh, it sure feels good to breathe. Mm. Is that the boat? Is this the boat? Yup. Gosh darn propellers, anyway. Hey, Mr. Fisherman. What? Who said that? I'm down here. Oh, a diver, eh? Why didn't you say so, cockamamie kids? You just swam up through some of your trash. Lots of creatures have to live in the ocean. You shouldn't dump stuff in here, you know. What's that? Creatures, is it? What do you think I'm fishing for? The ocean's a big place, matey. A little bit of trash ain't gonna hurt them fishies none. But it does. You wouldn't believe all the trash down there. Anyway, that's not what I came to talk to you about. It's about Gregor Gregarious. Gregarious? That's a heck of a name for just a dumb manatee. What's all them bandages for, anyway? Because you keep hitting them with your propellers. M propellers? You mean my propellers did that? He says every time he comes up to breathe, your boat runs into him. Well, I'll be a landlubber. What uh, do I do about that? Uh, maybe a cage. I do have that cage. You know, this cage is like one my dad uses to cover the propellers on our lab boats. I bet it would work just as well on your propeller blades. I'm not sure I'm getting you, kid, but if you want to take a shot at trying it, I wouldn't. Ho I won't holler none. Good idea, but Adam needs some way to fasten that cage to the boat. Do you have any screws, buddy? Do we have screws? I feel like we get screws at some point, but it's not yet, so we need to go back down. Alright, Gregarious, we'll take care of you later. I like how down is, like, not the same as... It's like... 
You can go south or down, and they're the same thing. Nope. Oh, there's that guy's part, food and stuff. What is that? A water pump, old but still working, lies on the ocean floor. It must have fallen from the fisherman's boat. Perhaps he got a newer model. Well, it's ours now. I bet a water pump will be handy. Adam Snacks is still functional water pump. How about the sandwich? Is that a sandwich? The fisherman seems partial to sushi sandwich sushi sandwiches. Can we take it or should we recycle it? I bet somebody likes sushi. It's too late to save those fish. <laughs> Alright, well fine. Let him give the sushi a decent burial. Fisherman's discard wine bottle litters the ocean floor. Yuck. Adam just says no and trashes the wine bottle. Alright, Adam makes a clean sweep of the garbage around the fish apartments. Okay, well, let's try to find another person who might have screws. So I have a feeling all these guys are linked together and you gotta, like, get some items from some other people. Uh, let's look in this one. I do have a sharp knife. I know that they teach you to cut those rings. What's up, buddy? I'll talk to you. Uh, I seem to have a problem, my good man. Oh, it's British. I seem to have a problem, my good man. <laughs> That's not British either. <laughs> I guess so. That looks painful. How did you get your nose stuck in those plastic six-pack rings? I was digging for food like I always do. These abominations were under the sand. Well, I have a knife. And by knife, I mean a really sharp shell. I have a shell with a sharp edge. Let me see if I can get the rings off. Be careful, young man. A snout is a terrible thing to waste. There we go. Ah, oh, what a blessed relief. I was afraid I was a bit doomed, good fellow. But your speedy and accurate surgical techniques were my salvation. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Hippocrates, chief sturgeon, er, that is, surgeon of Valeria, And who might have... I might have the pleasure of addressing. I'm Adam, a friend of Delphinius. Ah, a delightful chap. Delphinius, and in perfect medical condition. Do you need a checkup, lad? I must confess I know distressingly little about human anatomy, but you are simple creatures. And it can't be that difficult. Uh, I don't need a checkup. I came to tell you about a meeting the mayor's called in the council chambers. A meeting? Good show. That's just the ticket for what ails us. Before I go, let me express my gratitude by giving you these fishbone tweezers. Perhaps they will serve you someday as you have served me. Thanks. Thanks, hypocrites. <laughs> I've seen this pronounced differently, but, you know, whatever. Tis but a trifle. May you live many days, Adam, and be well. Let's get these rings. That's no good. Six pack of rings, and let's cut them up. Major ecological sensitivity, man. Adam cuts apart the plastic circles of the six-pack rings and puts them in his garbage bag. Alright. So, um, 
got these tweezers. Okay. We're starting to get quite the inventory. Just skipped but I guess it's oh it's probably that the light went out because we helped them new apartment oh, this sounds like a poor imitation of the little mermaid what's your deal buddy this sea turtle can't talk to Adam while his throat is blocked uh oh Third is blocked. The poor sea turtle appears to have something stuck in his throat. He's having trouble breathing. A long white string hangs from his throat. Now where's Adam seen a string like that before? It's a balloon. We just got these tweezers. I'm having pretty good luck with the... Uh... I'm gonna try to get that blockage out of your throat. Steady now. This guy is British. What was the other guy then? Adam grasps the string with the tweezers and pulls. Boy, it's really in there. Well, that didn't help much. The string came off, but whatever's stuck in the troll's throat is still in there. Well, let's get that out, then. Let's try this again. Open wide now. Adam uses the tweezers to reach carefully into the sea turtle's mouth and grasp the end of the object, blocking the creature's small throat. There we go. I see. That was terribly nice of you. I was having the most dreadful time breathing. That was a balloon I pulled out of your throat. Why'd you eat that? I mistook it for a particularly delectable dark cosmetical bowl. What? Comestible. <laughs> My error, and a nearly fatal one. My throat, you see, is quite miniature. The rubbery texture of that balloon blocked it completely. They sometimes find huge whales who've been killed by swallowing a little balloon. Oh yes, my equally small throat brothers, but I get ahead of myself. I'm erroneous professor of the most most uh, professor of most of the fish in these parts. It's a pleasure to finally meet a human. I've taken quite a scholastic interest in you as a species, that is. I noticed the flag. I'm Adam, and I actually find animals more interesting than humans, but maybe that's just because I am one. Oh yes, we are often intrigued by with the unknown. The mayor sent me to tell the citizens about a meeting at the council chambers. Well, I shall certainly want to contribute to that ostentatious affair. But first, let me persuade you to assume responsibility for these four little human objects I found. They might be troublesome if left floating about. Four metal screws? Yes, their size makes them particularly likely candidates for swallowing. I'll take care of them for you. Well, I'll go join my fellow citizens now. Be well, my human friend. It's been a pleasure. Alright. Where'd that balloon go? Oh, there it is. Well, we have screws now, so we can help the manatee. Let's, go, let's recycle that uh, balloon. And it picks up the deflated balloon and puts it in his garbage bag so another animal doesn't swallow it. Alright. Well, we're about out of time for this video, but. Oh, was there another balloon? Hold on. I have to go back in there. Um, I'm going back in. Uh, but in the next video, we will help the manatee and uh, get that propeller working again. Maybe it'll give us something, uh, something nice in return for his help. Okay, so we have another balloon. Is there? Is that a balloon? Okay. Well, uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, but in the meantime. Until next time, I'm Paul Bo Brookins, and we will see you then.